Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with jcrater.com. 10 steps to make banana roti in Chiang Mai. Step number one, cut the banana. All right, notice he cuts it into fine little pieces. Bananas are so ripe here and so delicious. It's crazy. Um, so this is one of my favorite desserts, and that's why I made this uh, little video. So I find it fascinating. So um, step number two is flatten the dough. So you'll notice he's got this little twist of the wrist action here. It's kind of like a guy throwing a pizza, um, the way he flattens it. Other people do it different ways, but that's this, that's this guy's style. Step number three, begin frying the now flattened dough. All right, so there you go. Then he adds the bananas, okay, the nicely chopped bananas on top. And then he folds in the bananas, creating a pocket of yummy goodness. So that's just an outrageous greatness there. Then um, he applies butter to the top and on the bottom. And that's going to let it get really nice and golden brown. So here's his prices. Remember, 31 baht to the dollar. So this is costing me about 67 cents, 70, 70 cents, something like that. Okay. I recommend the chocolate roti. The next step is you just got to be patient. A lot of time to slow cook. Because uh, you're, you're there, you're hungry, it's usually the end of the night, you might have had a few drinks, you're kind of just wandering back to your hotel, and boy that looks good, and uh, you want to put something in your stomach to uh, soak up the alcohol, and you just wait, you just wait. So, we uh, get a little editing here so that you don't have to wait as long as I had to wait. Uh, but you just watch it kind of cook and uh, at some point he just knows to flip it over. He's done it so many times and he talks to people and you know it's just kind of entertaining. It's kind of like going to Benihana. And uh, there, look at how golden it is. And it gets a little bit of a crisp to it. So here's where we, we, we sped ahead a little bit. So he's made a few other ones as other people came up after me. Some people like to put eggs in with banana, which I haven't tried that yet. I haven't really appealed to me this scrambled egg with banana in a dessert, but um, quite a few people do it that way. So he just keeps checking. Next step, remove from the heat and remove any excess oil. So you'll notice you'll kind of pat it down here a little bit. <laughs> Next step is to cut it into small bite-sized pieces. Usually they cut it into 16. This guy did a nine, a nine pack, so they're a little big, a little bit bigger pieces. And uh, what he's going to do is put a little piece of paper there, and he drops it in, and then he adds the chocolate. So that's the next step: white chocolate and condensed milk. So he offers it to me, and I say, "Of course." And that adds just another level of sweetness. He'll stick a, a stick in it, and that's what I use to eat it. I like to use a fork. That's like one pint of a fork. And there you have it. If you'd like more videos like this, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you're welcome to subscribe to my blog, jcreator.com. I write about travel, freedom, internet marketing, and abundance.